Hello everyone, welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to have a little video about Windows updates, especially for those that have problems with Windows updates. We're going to give a few tips that you can try uh, in case of updates. First of all, um, I'm going to rectify something because a lot of people, uh, at least a dozen of viewers, uh, have been under the impression that uh, when I talk about accumulative updates, or I talk about uh, the November update, it's only for insiders. Well, it's not. It's for everybody. When something is for an insider or an insider preview, I mention the insider preview in the video. I also put it in the title. So when I'm not talking about insiders at all, it is for everyone. So everyone should have had, since the release of Windows 10 and July 29th, uh, a, a certain number of cumulative updates. Also, you should have had the November update by now. For, so, the first tip that I have for anyone that notices that for the past months you haven't had any updates, first make sure that you haven't had them by going into the notifications area, go into the all settings, and go into, of course, the um, update and security here. Go into your advanced options. Make sure that the updates are automatic and check your uh, update history. Make sure that the updates aren't installed because sometimes if you leave your PC on all the time you might not notice but the updates often install in the middle of the night. So you might think you don't have any updates but they are installing uh, in the middle of the night. So that's one thing to check for. But say you don't have any of those updates and haven't had any in a long time. Well, first thing you should do is simply go to the Windows 10 download page where you to get the Windows 10 download tool and just click download tool now. This is the media creation tool. From here, you can either create a, tool, uh, a USB thumb drive or download an image file. Uh, to clean install, but you also have the option to update. So if you want to update from here, do it. So if you haven't had any updates for a long time, use this tool. It's going to bring you to the November update. And because the November update is such a big install, which is typically almost a, a, a new install of Windows 10, what's going to happen is that you'll be at the November update but you also will probably have your Windows update fixed because it kind of reinstalls it pretty much. So that would fix, uh, I would say would really fix your Windows update problems. So that's one thing. If you don't still don't have the Windows 10 November update, once again, use this tool. That's your best bet to get to the November update and you'll see afterwards if it works. Now in the possibility that you maybe you're getting Windows updates but they're getting error messages, they don't want to install or you just never see the updates, uh, say starting from the November update, well what you could do is go into this page that I'll post the link. It, here there's a uh, Windows update troubleshooter. Now this one is made for Windows 7 but it is compatible with Windows 10 also. So you can actually run the Windows Update Troubleshooter and let it check what's happening. It might actually look at the registry, see something's wrong with the way updates are installed on your computer and fix the issue. Another thing to make sure is that your uh, antivirus software is not blocking anything. Uh, some of the antivirus today are very, very uh, powerful and they have what we call uh, sandbox mode. So when you update, for example, it might actually have a problem uh, with that update thinking that it could be a virus or something and it's blocking it. It's not, you know, actually making um, the install work. So um, make sure that your antivirus is not blocking it also. And uh, you can try, like I said, the troubleshooter. The last thing that you can do is also go to uh, the page where you know you can search for information on the latest updates. One of the things you can try is method two here. It says Microsoft Update Catalog. 
you can click here and you'll have to be an Internet Explorer for this to work, by the way. And this is going to bring you to the standalone packages that you can actually manually download and install. Um, very often the updates don't install themselves um, that don't install automatically or have errors in those updates will install when you manually install it. So and there was actually a case of a, a problem with an install a few months ago where we had a fix like this. So these are all things that you can try to have your Windows updates working. Um, there's a good chance that there's one of these options that's going to work. And like I said, if you haven't had updates for a long time, don't search for the cumulative updates. Just go directly to the download tool and um, just update from here. It's probably going to work uh, without any issues and you'll be the latest November uh, update. And that November update is going to probably have a, a working Windows update afterwards. So these are little tips for Windows Update problems. Uh, I hope some of those fix your issues and uh, try to at least download either manually the updates or you know try to troubleshoot and uh, hopefully it's going to work. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. If you have any comments, questions, problems, let us know. Thank you so much for following us. It's always a pleasure to have your feedback.